friends and welcome back to Gardening Suburbia. My name is Amanda and I'm a gardener here in Zone 6 in Cincinnati, Ohio. And today I am not in my garden, I am in my kitchen. We are processing a ton of tomatoes. So just the other day I went to a local farm. Um, they're about 20 minutes from here. Um, and I picked up almost a bushel. They didn't quite have a bushel of seconds. Uh, seconds being the tomatoes that are just about to go bad that need to be purchased they put them at a lower uh, price point so that they can go ahead and get rid of them faster um, so I honestly don't remember how many pounds ended up being but it was shy of a bushel a bushel is 60 pounds of whatever you're purchasing I went ahead and I, I bought a bunch of tomatoes they had well there are some massive tomatoes in here. Now, since they are seconds, I am cutting away any of the portions of the tomato that look bad, um, but their tomatoes were beautiful. Um, I couldn't imagine purchasing these, like this one was pristine. Um, so I got a lot of different varieties. I got some Romas. Um, there are some beautiful dark orange tomatoes. I think they even had some Paul Robinsons um, and then just some of those typical giant meaty red tomatoes. Um, so this is gonna make a really beautiful dynamic sauce, um, which my pantry is completely empty of all salsa and almost all of my tomato sauces. So since I am getting rid of these right now, I'm canning them up today. Instead of coring and scoring and then popping them into my freezer, I am going ahead and actually popping them into a boiling pot of water. This goes ahead and actually releases the skin. Now this is a personal preference. I prefer to get rid of the skins because they do kind of like, they'll come off the tomato when you're processing and they'll kind of like curl up onto itself. And it's almost like this tomato skin straw that you end up finding in your sauce. Um, I personally do not like them in my sauce. Um, so I'm going through the process of removing these by boiling them for a few minutes and then putting them in some ice cold water. The skins release really nice and easily. Um, I typically will throughout the season pop my tomatoes that have been cored and scored into my freezer. And then after you take them out like the day before you wanna go ahead and process um, and let them thaw out, the skins just slip right off. Um, so really is a preference. The freezer option makes it easier for those of you who aren't having a ton of tomatoes come into your garden all at once. Um, so that way you can go ahead and stash away beautiful tomatoes in your freezer until you get a good enough um, batch of them so that you can go ahead and actually make something out of them. Uh, so I don't have enough freezer space for all these tomatoes, which is why I'm doing it today. Plus I have a free day. So <laughs> I am about halfway through uh, my process. I've got my big old stainless steel uh, bowl full of tomatoes that have already been skinned. And I'm just kind of working my way through them. Um, I am going ahead and preparing some focaccia for dinner tonight. So you guys will see a few clips of that. I went ahead and I got that started last night at about seven. Um, it did its first bulk rise. This focaccia is super hands-off. Um, you just get it incorporated. 
you leave it set for 12 to 18 hours and then in the morning you'll go ahead and put it in the pan that you're going to bake it in um, and then do a second rise which is about an hour and a half two hours add those beautiful dimples a lot of beautiful flavorful uh, olive oil along with some different seasonings you can pick any type of herbs you can go no herbs and just salt you could just do olive oil um, or you could even add on some beautiful edibles like tomatoes or peppers really just whatever your heart may fancy um, i did garlic i did a garlic honey um, focaccia as well as a tomato parsley focaccia so i'm super excited about them um, they're going to be with dinner tonight but let me continue on the journey of tomatoes because I have a feeling I'm gonna be here all day. I am going to take a break at some point once I get this, uh, get these tomatoes skinned and into a pot that they can go ahead and simmer down together and meld the flavors. Um, and I'm gonna go outside <laughs> because it is absolutely beautiful outside this morning. It was about a little below 60 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's like, you. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever go outside and you just know that the change of the season's coming. You can feel it. it, just feels like fall. That's what it felt like this morning. I absolutely love fall. Fall is my, my favorite season along with spring. I just love the cool weather, blue skies, this gentle little breeze. And so I'm gonna make sure that I get some time outside. All right, so all of the tomatoes have been peeled. I have a giant bowl full of scraps that I'm gonna go ahead and compost. Um, so I've got this bowl and then my big ol', this is a giant bowl. Right now I have the camera on a wide angle, but this is a huge bowl. Um, so I've got this bowl of tomatoes, that bowl of tomatoes. I went ahead and diced up some red onion, some bell peppers, as well as some white onion. My thoughts are, I'll go ahead and do half of the recipe or half of the tomatoes for um, some salsa. So with those red onions and then half of those tomatoes for some spaghetti sauce. Um, I have no idea how many pounds of tomatoes I have because I also harvested a whole bunch of tomatoes with you guys um, in preparation for doing this. Um, and then I got a bunch of tomatoes off my counter that had been finishing, that were finishing ripening up. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually weigh out the tomatoes and see how many pounds of tomatoes I have. And I just diced all those onions and so my eyes are super watery. So this bowl is nine pounds, three ounces. That's not including getting rid of the weight of the bowl. <laughs> I don't even know if this is going to weigh this because it might be too heavy. Yeah. Okay, um, let's see here. Let's, let's do this instead. I think this tops out at 12 pounds. Yeah. Okay, so We 
we've got 11 and a half pounds about for that. So I'm going to actually add this into my big pot. Um, we'll do salsa first. So in this big pot, I'm gonna do my tomato sauce and then the smaller pot, I'll do my salsa. So I'm gonna first go ahead and um, add some oil into here, into both pots. And essentially I'm going to add in some garlic pucks. So I've got a couple of pucks of frozen garlic from this year's garden. Um, and I'll probably do two in the salsa and three in the spaghetti sauce. And if I need to add more, I can add more. That's what I got right now. And then I'll add my white onion for the spaghetti sauce. So for the salsa, I'm going to add my 11 and a half pounds of tomatoes. And I am going to be blending all of this up uh, or pureeing these. So having the chunks is okay. I'm just going to weigh out my tomatoes just so I know how many pounds I'm putting into my uh, spaghetti sauce. There's 10. There's seven, so that'll be 17. Last but not least, another about five. So all together for the uh, spaghetti sauce, we've got 17 plus 
22. <laughs> 22. All right, so I'm gonna let this, both of these simmer down for quite a while. Um, and I'm gonna leave the lids off so that the excess water will evaporate, making my sauces a little bit thicker. Um, I'm not gonna let them thicken up too much. So I will be back in periodically while I'm outside enjoying the, the cool weather, um, just to make sure that they are at where I want them to be. Um, I still need to add spices and whatnot to both of these and then some lime juice uh, to my salsa. My salsa, I would typically add cilantro, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and mix it this time around um, and see how that turns out. Um, I do need to add peppers, so I'm gonna have to go into the garden and pick some jalapenos. Um, I do have some gallego peppers from the garden, so I'll probably get these guys um, chopped up and added uh, and see how that goes. I've never grown these before. This was the first year that I grew the um, gallego pepper. Um, so we'll see what the spice level is at. I'm pretty sure it is spicier than a jalapeno, um, or it can be spicier than a jalapeno, but I don't know by how much. Uh, we'll go ahead and try this out though. Um, and then, yeah, and then there's just <laughs> all of the canning that comes with uh, putting away fresh harvest. I really wanted to make sure that I got enough um, salsa and pasta sauce put away because I ran out of it so quickly this last year. Um, I think I'm actually gonna cut the video here because I think it's gonna be extremely long. So hopefully it's kind of got some tips and tricks tucked in between some random bits. Um, but thank you guys so much for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you get to go outside, enjoy some beautiful weather, um, and thoroughly enjoy the season. Um, here in Cincinnati, it is coming around a turn and we're heading straight to fall. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I'll go ahead and pop a video up here for you to enjoy until my next upload. But until then, thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next one.